There's a lot of people on this morning when I took a look. But for now, it's time to re-engage with some people. You've gotta believe. <laughs> I, I gotta remember that I can set my character bank come on in the startup thing. It does help a lot in terms of me picking who I want to pick. So I'm probably on character bank one, but I want it to be on two. Yeah. I wish to go back to my hidden world, probably. I don't know if I feel like doing laser right now. Do I have access to laser? I technically do, but... Actually, is anybody running episode two right now? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Too. <laughs> I feel like doing some episode one right now, so I'm gonna switch over to my human well. <laughs> the joy of grinding. Yes. I mean, I just like playing the game, so the grinding's kind of second, <laughs> secondary. These two characters have been getting lovely XP off of the current boosts, so that's nice. Oh, my water's all the way over there. Got it! <laughs> Rind! Strim. Do I have everything I need? Yes. Okay, good. Is it time for me to finally get rid of this? I'll try to get rid of it and see how things go. I've had this Heavenly HP on for ages. Maybe it's finally time for me to get rid of it. And hopefully I don't get owned as a result. So I do have something much better I want to put in that slot instead. One of these babies! Yeah, now there's the full human world set. Beautiful. It's modded. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be modded in here, because I've been really going ham on those. This thing's a fresh little coat of paint, so to speak. Alright, here we go. <laughs> well, hello there! We seem to be at an impasse. <laughs> so close that neither of them can hit. Gotta use the fact that I have lower HP than I did before. Getting the regular drop, but an egg is good too. The first egg of the day! Yes! These wolves never line up properly, it's very annoying. I just want to hit them with a slice there, but they're never in the right spot. Be gone, foolish wolves! Figure using a slicer.
The PSP Fantasy Star was pretty popular. I recall that being one of the main things that sold the system in the first place. People wanted some of that hot action. <laughs> I'm gonna get shocked. There it is. I mean, eggs and other things. I have a long list of things I would like to drop. But that'll require some luck. Not exactly my strongest stat. <laughs> it's hard to really state how much time uh, having the floor reader health saves me overall. Also, I figured out how to do some mods of the mods. I restored the regular colored doors for the forest, because they had them like... This weird orange color, which really didn't gel with me. They wanted it to be the same color as the autumn leaves, but it just looks silly. <laughs> so I did a small modification and removed the orange doors. That's a good disco usage. Slice! <laughs> oh, hi, Rappies! <laughs> Didn't see you there. grows endlessly. There's no escaping it. Yes! <laughs> I don't want to be shocked. Alright, HP material mono grinder. There's another HP material up here or right there. Okay, we're in business. I don't get games very often, so thankfully my backlog is not particularly large. Longest RPG ever for a Digimon game! I mean, I have heard it's pretty long. It's not like a Game Boy Advance game, even? Okay, using the mech gun still works better. Get down here! <laughs> you said you're allowed to escape! PlayStation 1? Okay, that makes a little more sense at least. Hence material, I'm gonna guess I'll pick it up. <laughs> They're not one of the most terribly useful things, but... It's there. <laughs> oh, hey, I can actually get a good look at the new Caves 1 modification that I picked up. It's got a certain ambience so far. 
spooky in here. That's all it takes. The auto aim on mech guns is very narrow, so it's very easy to have that exact situation occur. Ooh, guard wave! And with a bad defense roll, but still. Yeah, I'll take that. That's good armor. Yoink! I didn't know they dropped those. How many of these guys have I killed without a single one of those dropping? Compares to a luminous field. It seems pretty good. Zzz. Ah, right, I don't have access to my other buttons. Yeah, get out of here! <laughs> What's on blast? They're neat, but they're often actually a hindrance. Ambience in here is much darker than normal. <laughs> to the more spooky feel. I wonder what the other caves are like. This for giving things different visual mods to give them a splash of, you know, a little splash of freshness. Because I've been to these areas a lot of times, so yeah. Give me something different to look at for a bit. Might switch it back eventually, but for now. Something new. Auto aim so bad sometimes. knows how to see things. So go ahead and look into the fact that I was shooting there, and it's like, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Lilies. Always appreciated. <laughs> Piece of shit. Oh, this is going poorly. <laughs> I glanced up, I saw a Lily, and I already knew what was going to happen. <laughs> Ah! 
Hey, give me one of these. There we go. And I actually have a big supply of them on this specific character. I have lots of others. <laughs> Gee, how does like do you have a luminous field in here? I probably don't. Oh, I do. Luminous field's considerably better, even if this thing rolls max stats. How about resistance-wise? Guard wave slightly better resistance-wise, but nah. I'll keep it for now because I don't have very many of 101 armors, but a luminous field's just better. <laughs> I guess Guardway is probably equipable by androids, and that's good? I think Luminous Field is too, actually. <laughs> it's an okay armor. <laughs> There's a lot of armors that step on each other's toes. It looks neat! It's a neat looking armor when you have it activated. a little bit of revenge. Revenge obtained! There's a lot of lilies in this room. All right, all right, here we go. Alright, here they come. Just keep those stunned. Here we are. Live it up and close and personal with this here, Lily. <laughs> Alright, auto aim. There you go. Amazing, you did it! <laughs> One of the remaining super jank things in this game is uh, the auto aim system is dated. Also, barely works. <laughs> but it does at least kind of work, sort of. <laughs> Mostly. If you can land right there, slice is slice. I'm at least a little bit sad that all I discovered by finding the shiny thing this time was that it's not that great of a shiny thing. Oh boy, straight into ruins, huh? Wait, isn't this ruins three? Holy shit! That's a bit of a jump, but it does have the enemies I'm after, these guys.
not exactly the weapon I was trying to use. Thank you, Otto. Target the one behind the thing that's trying to punch me in the face. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Alright, the reduced HP doesn't seem to be causing any problems, which is good. So I'm not trying to leave the smart link on. Alright! <laughs> that looks like a fat stack of cash to me! Hey, cash! Cash is good! I'd like to ask you to stop! Actually, aim at the right spot. There we go. Here, what's up? Are you guys good down there? You've been trying to do that for a little while now. What the? He can hit me from here? What the crap? What's that hit box? I guess it's only when I was standing on the very, very edge. Still silly, though. Over on this side. How about a freeze prop? You can do it. I believe. Ooh, double freeze. Where is that thing? I can hear it! Ah! A face. That's what do you get? Here comes another batch of dark gunners. Dee -dee -dee -dee. There's too many in this freaking room. I'm just getting rid of this. Still, damn you! Come back here!
Ugh. These enemies are the worst for anybody who isn't a ranger. So they can at least freeze them reliably. Burns as well, I guess, but you have to go through quite a few freeze traps. also drop something I want, but I've yet to do so. There's generally not very many of them that show up in this quest. I wouldn't very much like their drop, though. I need another one of those spread needles. And so far, I've only been able to get them to drop from something entirely different! That's a very opportune time to start spinning. I'm going in. I am invincible. something I want, but it has yet to drop. Basically, I should just do a bunch of ruins runs, it feels like. On yellow bows in particular, because there's a lot of stuff. Actually, there's one quest I can think of that starts in, uh... It starts in the mines, then goes into ruins, that would be really good. Because both areas have a ton of stuff that I want. I'm about to get nuked! <laughs> place long enough so I can take you down. <laughs> you know where accuracy is so bad? out there somewhere but the only annoying part of my landing on ruins 3 is that one of the dark cutters in that initial spawn likes to escape and just float ever so much out of my range come back this is so annoying there we go
Something they probably should have thought of when closing off half of this room. I'm gonna get nuked. Here it comes. <laughs> okay, I now need to move. Pronto. That'd be why. <laughs> hey there, instant death ball. How you doing? been a real swell time to activate soon, I'm just saying. for sellable purposes. Parts from enemies and turning them into weapons. <laughs> In the source of this case, you just you just take their right arm and get the staff that's normally in it. <laughs> All right, boss time it is. Someday I'll have a holy ray to make this fight less obnoxious for this character. <laughs> God, you need to destroy so much, so fewer of those with one person than you do with four. I now have that fresh in my mind after playing with four people a few times.
Get out of here, form one. You're useless. All right, form two. Where are we going? Oh, -na 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 -na. that way, apparently. Yeah, I don't have any other good means of using HP cutting specials, so just using the demo comment seems like a good idea. It's good damage on its own, too. Very cooperative form, too. Only moved once and just used its most useless attack over and over again. <laughs> Not very often it actually cooperates, but there you go. Getting a few hits in before this happens. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! And, oh, dude, the real accuracy, come on! <laughs> I'm begging you! Land a hit for once in your life! Even with the smart link, I still miss constantly. <laughs> no amount of intelligence will fix what's already broke. Alright, and since I got into precisely 50% HP, now I have to deal with this. It's not ideal. Don't you move! Don't you move! Okay, thanks. <laughs> Imagine how much faster this would go if I actually could hit those. <laughs> nice burst! Um, die? One more. There we go. <laughs> Unfortunately, my ID just doesn't have a good drop for this, so even if I do get the exciting twinkly dink noise of a rare drop, it's just a, just a set of earrings. <laughs> Seven. Nice. <laughs> it's still one of the cooler boss arenas, too. Shame the boss sucks. But you know, Rita's nice. I don't worry your body. Oh boy! And your disco with 50% dark, nothing too exciting. I'll grab the celestial. Here we go. Because you got to have money. So are we going to spaceship or temple? Spaceship it is, all right. Hey, monkeys! Get a load of this! Bring up the program so I can see that name properly. Canduella! Thank you for the five bucks! <laughs> in that cute little tail on screen for us. I really need to spend some time and get the edition pop up that I want, but that one's pretty cute too. It's, that's why I haven't been super compelled to change it. I'll probably keep it at a, at a specific tier or something because it's just a nice gift. But thank you very much! It helps keep the channel chugging along! Every bit of sport counts, even just lurking.
Hey, the nice thing about the direct donate link is that the majority of it goes to the streamer. <laughs> Suck bears! I bring it on, Sinnohs. I mean, if you can drop the thing that you drop, that'd be really swell, but the rates are pretty low. And now, the red variety! I kinda got stuck in these guys. One for you. One for you. And one for you. That's right, wait. <laughs> Equips you, so I just tried to kick the horse. I mean, you can hit him that way, but. Also, hello, Joey. How's it going? Ooh, good boy, level 20. Yes, I will take that. Hang on. Oh, uh, maybe after this! Incoming! playing on is referred to as Ephemia. E-P-H-I-N-E-A. And yeah, Private Super is the only way to still play this game. Other than having the off versions of like the GameCube edition and whatnot. Ephemia's got a lot of nice quality of life stuff. Solo mode is fully fleshed out and very playable. Which makes people like me very happy. My boss ran out. That's probably why I'm taking so much damage. There we go. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Sit over Brigade! up my auto aim. <laughs> that is their purpose after all is to mess up your aiming more, more than anything. There we go. Oh, that was a bit of a party. Have room for that power material? Oh no I need to make two spaces. I need to make two spaces. Alright let's drop a divinity and a there we go. Those, one of these. Press complete. Thank you. 
Couple of these, couple of these, and we're all set. We'll do one more run, and that'll be that for today's stream. But you know, we'll see which routes we get this time. This one was pretty thorough. It had a lot of the horses that I was after. One of these days, they're gonna drop their arm. I want that bringer's rifle. I want it. Nice thing about enemy parts is you don't have to worry about their stats. Do you say anybody to join? No. Okay, okay, let's go. Round two, fight. Force two again. All right. It can start you as deep as ruins one. <laughs> I just always seem to get forced. It's not terrible. There's a couple of things in here that are useful, like luminous fields. Into nowadays, since it does have a lot of old video game jank to it. For me, I have a lot of nostalgia towards it, so it helps smooth over some of that stuff, like the uh, awkward aiming and whatnot. But it's an interesting thing because there's never been another game quite like it. Most action games nowadays are very fast, very mobility based and whatnot. They're all very specific. This is kind of the polar opposite. <laughs> It's slower, more methodical. All about using a small tool set as best you can. So it appeals to different people. Yeah, Phantom Zone 1 always had a very nice visual style to it. It's with the Dreamcast, so it didn't exactly have powerful hardware to work with. But they stylized it and it made everything look neat. The future games definitely leaned a lot harder towards just regular old anime. So it didn't look as in visually interesting as the original. Well, they had more powerful hardware, but different in for later games, so it let them do just whatever they wanted instead of having to get more stylized. The pluses and minuses of more powerful hardware and all that. <laughs> Do especially lean super hard on regular old anime to a fairly ridiculous degree at this point. Ooh, luck material. Don't mind if I do. Delicious. Fine, I'll take this. Apparently, I need them. <laughs> Some of the visuals I have in here are mods, like the kind of autumn timey forest that's going on, but... Yay, no dodge rolling in this one! And you're right, it's not exactly slow, but it is slower than your average action game. It was def- yeah, it was indeed designed to run over dial-up, and it did sell rather well! Which is hilarious when you think about it. Because we have a lot of games these days that don't even run properly on, like, high-speed internet. <laughs> I'm intending to see Sonic 2 at some point. And I'm not, like, in any big rush. I can wait until it comes out in a more viewable format than theaters. I mean, unless the same person that went with me to the first one wants to go to the second one, we'll see. We made a day of it last time, we went out to dinner at a nice restaurant and went ourselves and watched the first Sonic movie and had a good time. We were pleasantly surprised. 
by the first one. I was just morbidly curious. I didn't really have any intention to see it. But then I was invited, and I'm just like... Yeah, curiosity says go see it. And I'm glad I did. It was worthwhile. Plus, I got a really good meal at the, the restaurant, and I'm, I'm itching to go back there, but COVID's been a thing. <laughs> I want to go back! It was delicious! I haven't been to the Mexican place I like to go to in so long! A hunger! <laughs> See, we got a tri-fluid right there. All the bad songs that are dropping. Yeah, you're fully committed to those attacks. Which is really painful on the mech guns, because they take this long to cool down from their attack animation. Which is very bad when mixed with their very narrow auto-aim that tends to just aim at a wall. <laughs> So, you know, beware the mech guns. They do a ton of damage, but at a risk. This mod technically also came with a reskin for the Ultimate Dragon area, this place. But, I mean, you can't mess with perfection. <laughs> I took out the, the boss arena version, because... I mean, the autumn leaf look was nice, but we got a Aurora Borealis up in here! <laughs> Trying to get him into position when he gets up. That'll work. Shoot him in the gut. works. There's a lot of Sinnohs in here, which is good for me. T uh, TP restorative while I have it. Hey, buddies. Yep, I mean, it's the same company. They just reused the same siren noise between games. I don't know which game came out first. these guys. That seems like a plan. Get him, Dolphin! Boom!
Photon Blast. They're not terribly, uh, <laughs> effective on most enemies since they rely on light resistance, but I mean, it works! It works really well on some enemy types. Supplied, so they're easy to deal with. You know, if you want to drop your goods, it'd be really nice. All right, I'm gonna go this way because there's actually more stuff that I can get over here. <laughs> See, the funny thing about the mines in this quest is everybody gets stuck in their own little room with their own little enemy batch. So I come in here where another player would spawn in and there's another batch of these. stopping me from just going into those rooms myself. After the fact. Yeah. Darn slow. GameCube game sitting around. I really should grab one of those, like, memory card backup tools so I can actually save all my old memory card stuff. A lot of it was lost in various corruptions, but it would be nice to have my old save files playable on, like, Dolphin or something. Because I had a lot of data on there that's, you know, it'd be nice to keep. Especially the old PSO stuff. The only character I ever bothered to get to level 200. This is Fantasy Star Online. Alright, that's three little prisons dealt with now. <laughs> I forgot to get the other one in the room that I started in. It's just such a funny concept to me. You come in here, everybody gets put in their own little room with their own little circle of cannabins. Alright, here's the last one. Even more and more fresh players showing up on the server lately. It's been nice to see. There's still people taking interest in this whole ass video game. Probably something to do with people getting tired of PSO2, but I mean, we take those. <laughs> Let's 
Sinos! Successful use of that. Even if I have to patch myself up afterwards. <laughs> Ooh, there's a party over here. We go over to the other side and deal with more Sidos. Mm, probably not. I guess I got well. Some minor interest with it, and it might be because of the specifically because of the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. If an audience is seen for that more retro style of RPG, there'd be more, you know, more chance of it. And while it might be different companies, it's not like companies don't notice when something succeeds. Right now, that sort of thing is 100% dependent on whether or not there's actually an audience for retro RPGs. In styling, at least. or is it just a couple of them? I mean, yeah, it'd obviously be a completely different series. But even just, like, the styling would be neat. I mean, the story was basically concluded after the fourth game, right? There wouldn't be much need to continue that storyline. But they could do something totally different with the, the same sort of setting and world. Sega's writing is up. <clears throat> Special. <laughs> Alright, back to Ruins 3 again. Sure. More chance at horses. Let's go. Everybody to hold on to this thing, so I'm just gonna fire off the dolphin now! Go, oh, 
my friend! And all these enemies are pretty light resistant. Sadness. You know, if Farla actually did damage, I'd probably be more compelled to have that. Because it's fire-based, but its base damage is so shit that it doesn't even matter. <laughs> and the lightning moose just doesn't hit things. If it does hit things, it's one target, so it's really useless. You know, the original, but Master System game is uh, very old. <laughs> Collections one wasn't particularly great, though, was it? <laughs> I actually tried to play it that way once many years ago, but I couldn't stand the music. It just hurt. It hurt so much. It was so screechy. Those Sega sound chips, oh, they really only work for certain things. And then you add on GBA compression on top of it, and ooh, baby. What a mess. That's a good first round of those guys. Show yourself. Can I even hit it from here? <laughs> Not really. Freeze? Hell yeah! Take those lucky these frogs, they're very helpful. on requests like that. It's very polite.
Show yourself! I really hate these things, though. There we go. They waste so much time! Is it a lot in this game? No, but there's some Space Channel 5 references. Day Amigo song in here. <laughs> Squirreled away in one specific quest, but it is there. Oh boy! Team points! I finally got another rare drop for this piece of crap! Everything in this game, Sega really wanted to just be like, this is our brand! And so they did. Nope, different quest! comes from a specific single-player quest that does involve Raffi's, but not in the same way. Hell yeah! Conveniently in time, invincibility. Thanks, Sato. Yes! Yes! Come here, my baby! Finally! <laughs> there we go! Excellent! Yes! I will be using that a lot. I accept your generous donation of your right arm! <laughs> Alright, one item down off the beach. <laughs> the huge ass list. Yep! I gotta turn that baby into a rifle and then add a bunch of hit to it. Thank you, horses! And thank you, Randomized Route, for constantly picking the horse route! <laughs> it knew! Sega Sandbox. It's called Yakuza. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm not technically wrong, that is fairly accurate. <laughs> You don't mind the specific sandbox being just Tokyo constantly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, that is some baseline to it, yeah. Because it's more just weird. Very, very weird. Extremely weird. It is definitely a game that only Sega could make. They're good at a certain brand of weird.
mean, yeah, you know your game doesn't take itself seriously with this a quick time event for picking up a phone. <laughs> Complete with like super dramatic cinematic camera angles. And naturally spinning the phone on the way up. <laughs> it is a game series that while I may not play it myself, good lord can I ever appreciate what it stands for. Oh, it's next on the weapon drops. Well, it still would be nice to get these guys to also give me the right arm. I need to move. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, there was one behind me, too. Yeesh! Where are you going? Why are you running so far away? I still want to land the auto shell, which uh, drops from the Sinnohs on this ID. I tr I've been trying to get it from my Auron, but every time the rare boss of Episode 4 shows up, he keeps denying me! But I want it. I want it bad. <laughs> it's another extremely useful weapon that can be used on multiple classes. some of the content for those games, including a lot involving a very certain chicken. If I'm understanding correctly, they went at a bowling alley? <laughs> Sato spinning, I don't have to worry about the incoming instant death ball. Thank you, Sato. <laughs> also, how does that game have like how does that series have like ten games in this short span of time? The boss again, huh? Alright, sure. Let's do it. I'm getting a very specific type of luck. <laughs> and now the game really wants me to fight Dark Falls. I'm gonna get those earrings one of these times. Still need to get a holy ray for this character really badly. The world just feels so naked without an actual decent firearm. Something with some range. Make guns have no range. really came across them when Zero came out, because it was just so much better than the previous games, apparently. But it really caught people's attention. All the memes started popping up. It's honestly, the memes probably have something to do with it. Those dropped last night. I saw it! It can drop! It is theoretically possible! <laughs> A 
get back here. I wasn't done. Oh. <laughs> They're just preemptively mashing in case I get frozen. Get back over here. Ah, come on. You know what? I think I'm the same then. <laughs> Maybe it'll still hit. Go dolphin? Does that count? And count it. Good job, dolphin. Okay, good. That's fairly ideal. There, come on! Come on! Stop being a dick! <laughs> oh yeah, sure, now you come over here. You're gonna move again, aren't you? <sighs> what an asshole! Oh good, and I managed to get him to just enough HP to do this shit again. What an asshole! Still. Come on. Close enough. One more. Nah, it's only the second there, Striker. I was intending to do two of them anyways. It's just both of them ended up being long because they both rolled into Ruins 3 and Dark Falls. <laughs> And there's still another area after this. A defense material. I mean, at least it's not a mono mate. <laughs> I've had worse things drop from balls. A defense material is pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, then a mod of fluid. <laughs> Since monobites are technically more useful. <laughs> I'm using one of those on one of my newer characters. Because <laughs> it's all I have. one thing off my list. The list gets slightly smaller! Yay! <laughs> Theoretically speaking, there is a astronomical chance that the Heaven's Punisher draws from those grass assassins. 
Here's some assassins. But I mean, come on, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> So let me get an exact number for that astronomic chance. They're just bears. Very angry bears. Don't mind the bears. Also, don't feed the bears. All right, just for a fun for funsies. Punisher, one in 151,594 points eleven with my current drop rate. <laughs> in comparison, the thing that I finally got, which I've been hunting for for a bit, has a. One in 311 drop rate, essentially. <laughs> it dropped in uh, one of the games I was playing last night, Striker. <laughs> now, it was a much easier drop rate of, like, one in 9,000 or so from one of the mini-bosses in Episode 2, but I mean... The fact of the matter is, I was there when one dropped. <laughs> Red Ring also dropped last night. It was a good night for people getting lucky that weren't me. <laughs> the drops are fully instanced on this server too, so no more, uh, no more thievery. If you get the drop, you get the drop. You don't no longer have to be scared of the astronomic chance of it showing up and then, like, quickly try to snag it before somebody gets it to be a lag. <laughs> it's just yours! They're always out there, those snipers. <laughs> they tell them to quit sniping, but they keep on doing it. <laughs> Oh, for them. <laughs> Where's your friends? Ow! <laughs> I actually kind of don't mind the idea of not getting multiple. <laughs> Sir! Sir, you need to be jealous because you hurt. Horses are not friends! They are pain! I'm getting hit by much of anything, has it? Get dodgeable! I'm glad we used my photon blast, but every god dang thing in this room is light resisted! I'll just slice them instead. take any damage from it, but I can at least get these pests off of me for a little bit. <laughs> oh, what a 
mess. Nothing important on the ground, so yeesh! There, some level of success at last. The bringer's arm is mine, yes! <laughs> Combo. You got normal attacks, heavy attacks, and special attacks. And those, those are your attacks. That's what you get. Let's tap into the photon crystal supply a little bit. So it's time to pray for a little bit more luck to finish things off. Decent paycheck. Side story Doctor Otsu's research. I've done a very specific set of the missions for this. <laughs> Just to unlock the ability to turn things into weapons. Hey, buddy! Have this arm! <laughs> Rifle, much better. Oh, it's glorious. Now I need to put some hit on it. <laughs> While I'm here, I do have these other things. I got a couple more for you. <laughs> the shield in particular. How many team points am I up to? Almost there. Alright, pray for good luck, chat! Pray for good luck, I'm gonna need it. I need to go to the other quest now that allows me to add hit percent to it. This one's done in episode four. Showtime! Dax, thank you very much for the 45 months. Enjoy and spend a little bit more for us today. So I'm gonna attempt to make this thing good. Attempt being the operative word. Bringer's rifle, please. The first one's 100%, at least. Do it!
All right, don't you dare fail. Okay, good. Come on, win the coin flip. Win it. Okay, good, thanks. I'm gonna leave it at 30% for now. I don't feel like blowing even more of my uh, photon crystals, but 30% is great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for not fucking up. <laughs> and there we go. 30% hit. Making this thing way more accurate than it was. <laughs> Excellent! Now my forces and rangers can finally use this thing. Success! <laughs> He's got more hit than my 40 hit demo combat. That's pretty good. Oh, I hit. <laughs> Dr. Bob, you didn't screw up. He did good! He did good! The next one's a 40% success rate, and the one after that's 20%, so... I kind of don't want to mess with that, <laughs> especially since the 40% success rate costs four and the 50, you know what, I'm going to try one. I'll give it one shot just for shits and giggles. One shot on the big one, because I'm going to use this thing for basically forever, so. It gets one try. I'm not blowing more than that because I want to use these crystals for other things. Nope. Well, those are gone. <laughs> At least I still have the weapon itself. Well, I gave it the college try and it failed. And that's why I generally stop at 30% for the time being. Either way, I think that's gonna do it for today. Wasn't expecting this suddenly has something to do afterwards, but you know, I gave it a shot. It didn't work, but I tried it. Yeah, the weapon's perfectly fine, I just lose the crystals. Which, I mean, still would be nice to have those crystals. Just saying. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow, though, with some Jet Force Gemini. 